Brink. So if you read your schedule, you know that Team Brink was John and Anna. Anna, please explain what happened here. I was in a car accident with a bus back in October and sustained a concussion, so I wasn't able to dance tonight. And so Paz filled in and danced with John, and you guys did a beautiful job. John, the one who's just as good is you're dropping gold on the floor and you don't even care. <laughs> All diamonds. So how do you feel about that, John? It's good. It's perfect. A little bit better than perfect, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Have you danced before? No. Never? Never. No. Fantastic. And did you have fun? Lots of fun. Yeah. And especially with Pass and Peter, they are absolutely fabulous. You know? So, yeah. Wonderful. And let's see what our judges think. It's me. Um, John, your upper body carriage was fantastic. Super strong through the upper body. It was great. Um, I, I feel like you might have lost the tempo a little bit just near the end there, so maybe something to work on for the future. But other than that, I thought your upper body was so strong, maybe from all that, you know, weightlifting and such. But, uh, great job. Great job, guys. It was fantastic. Oh, uh, well done, guys. Uh, Paz, you're always in fishnets, no matter where I see you. <laughs> you're about to fish. <laughs> and John, that was, that was well done. Again, being very strong through your upper body. It looks like you and I have the same hips. Uh, <laughs> very difficult to move. I was going to say the opposite. I actually thought that you did a really good job at getting your hips going into this whole thing. And, um, Kudos to be able to dance with all of the bling. It looks a little heavy, but you're a strong man, so you can handle that. Beautiful smile. Um, you were focusing really hard. I could tell that you were really trying to stay there with Paz, and 
congratulations to Paz as well. You're always beautiful to watch and for you to step in like that was awesome. So good job. So, so you know, so it looks like John can juggle just about anything or anyone. <laughs> Right? So next time you take your hat off, do it like you mean it, you know? You can take your hat off, like, boom, right? Don't take it off and like, oh God, what am I doing? Oh, I've got it in my hand. I better do something with my hand. Okay, I'll toss it over here, right? Now just, yeah, take, take one of us out with it. Aim for, yeah, aim, aim for down. So you got a bit of a George Papard thing going on right here, you know, but like, <laughs> So, so really, really great job. Um, are you surprised how hard it is to get up there and dance for that long in front of people? About, about four or five months ago, I stood in my speedos in front of 350 people. There you go. That's hard. I bet. For the people so in the back time, who next... couldn't hear, he said standing in his speedos in front of 350 people was harder. So, I just want to suggest that the next time you do this, you wear your speedo. And our scorecards in three, two, one. Oh, hard judges. Hard judges.